the man found a transparent barrier that, with the slightest touch of his hand, it just appeared out of nowhere in the middle of the desert. But what's even more bizarre is that anything thrown at it bounces back. Even bullets can't penetrate it. Looking through the barrier, there was a happy family of five living inside. They are dressed in old clothes, not of the same century as the people outside the barrier. They are not from the same century as the people outside the barrier. What's even more amazing is that the people on the outside can see the people on the inside. Incredible scene. The military's attention was immediately drawn to this incredible sight. In order to find out why the barrier appeared in the desert, the army called in Colonel Jack, who is well versed in physics, to come and check it out. Jack to check it out. Jack was also stunned at the first sight. Under his feet was a vast desert, in front of him was a dense vegetation. Why did this strange phenomenon occur? Jack couldn't explain it with his knowledge of physics, and he was shocked to find that, the blonde woman's face in the barrier. Surprisingly, the blonde woman's face in the barrier was exactly the same as his wife, who had died many years ago. He immediately showed a smile, he saw the boy in the barrier running towards him. He crouched down to embrace him, but the boy suddenly disappeared. Jack immediately looked around thinking the boy had run out. The next moment, a puppy and the boy appeared at the same time. Then the boy ran into his mother's arms. Watching the mother and son in the barrier was a joyous experience. Jack wanted to figure out the secret even more. He and his men watched with binoculars for a long time and they found that this family had been living a normal life. There was nothing special about them. Only the little boy seemed to notice something. His eyes went to the corner of the barrier. Jack followed and turned his head. Only then did he see that the smoke from outside had drifted inside. The boy must have noticed the strange scene, so he purposely ran over to check it out for good. At that moment, the barrier blocked the smoke from the outside. The boy ran away thinking he was mistaken. This scene made Jack realize that the barrier might not be airtight. The barrier may not be airtight. Perhaps at some critical point in time, the barrier will briefly open a small hole. In order to verify his conjecture, he had his men put a bunch of ice cubes into a transmitter and then fired the ice at the barrier without stopping, trying to find the previous time gap in this way. As more and more ice piled up on the ground, the henchman suddenly shouted in delight. Three of the ice blocks had successfully penetrated the barrier. Jack immediately stepped forward to check and witnessed a fourth ice cube fly in as well. He seized the opportunity to tentatively touch it with his hand, but he realized that the barrier had already closed by then. But that's when he made his big discovery. He determined that the gap had only been open for 15 seconds. As the desert time turned to night, Jack realized it was still daytime inside the barrier. The woman is sitting on a sling. Jack's curiosity about the woman grows. He could read the woman's mind from her melancholic eyes. He even suspected that after his wife's death, he'd even suspected that after his wife's death, she became a woman and came to this space. Thinking about this made him sleepless at night. All he could think of was the woman's smiling face. He couldn't wait to find out what the woman was talking about. So he called the CIA. He called the CIA and got a lip sync expert to help translate. But his superiors were furious when they found out. Because the CIA's interference would take credit away from him. Not only did they verbally abuse Jack on the spot, they disqualified him from investigating the barrier. But Jack just wants to find out where the woman came from. As the time to open the gap draws near, he used the crate to sneak up on the soldiers guarding it. The henchman over here launching ice cubes. Finding that time gap again, Jack takes advantage of the 15 precious seconds the barrier is open. Jack took advantage of the barrier's opening and sprinted towards it 